everybody. It's Whispering Canadian, and this is the collab with ASMR Duck. and I drove to Canmore and uh, met up with them at a hotel there. Uh, we didn't get up to too much that night. I believe we played, uh, played some games uh, with our family and around on the front. 
frozen lake and um, there was a large snow bank that we wanted to get over so we all attempted to climb over it and it was really quite a struggle for everybody involved and uh, I helped Joy up as well she fell back it was a whole thing and then after we had gotten over we noticed that there was a clear path through it like 20 meters away <laughs> so that was uh, pretty stupid of us but it was fun anyways so Myself, Joy's two daughters, and her husband. We all went skiing down uh, just uh, just the bunny hill. I haven't gone skiing in I don't even know how long. I uh, I was snowboarding for quite a while, but that was the first time I went back to skis. Snowboarding I had not done for quite some time. Anyways, as a um, sign of what was to come, <laughs> we had all just gotten our skis on, and one of Joy's daughters went down, <laughs> not on purpose. I went right into a, a little uh, barrier fence, <laughs> screaming all the way, and it was hilarious to watch anyways, but she thought it was funny too, so it, it was good. Was quite funny watching my poor daughter. 
actually all of them did very very well um, yeah they picked it up really really fast which is good we uh, we didn't have it enough time and we were already all getting quite sore and, and tired to go up the actual mountain but I think if they come over again I think we'll give that a go I think they're uh, they're good enough to go on on those runs. I don't know if I am, but I'd give it a shot anyways. minus 25 um, and so they, they cancelled for the next day so we all had to figure out what we wanted to do to fill in that gap we had gone down and gotten some flyers um, from the lobby of uh, going to a, a wolf sanctuary, a helicopter tour, a cave tour, I think there was, um, and I grabbed, I think, a snowmobile tour, which said on it, says that it's right outside of Bam for or something. So I really wanted to take them for a chopper ride, but the chopper ride would have only been like 20 minutes, and the skidoo ride was, well, we assumed, was for a few hours. largely because of pricing from the other things as well as they had we called them up and, and they still had uh, availability for the snow snowmobile tour must be Canadian forgot to mention that uh, I actually got to meet his parents um, that night which was lovely they drove for goodness knows how many
a chilly day, it was, uh, I think it was minus 25. Um, so we were all bundled up for a day outside. We went on our way and we got to Banff and we went past Banff. Uh, we picked some other people up along the way. And then we got to Lake Louise and we took that exit and picked somebody else up. And then we continued on. Now it was at this point I began to wonder if this guy was actually just going to take us out and kill us. Because the pamphlet had said Banff on it.
sleep on the drive. <laughs> but um, we saw some elk, which was good. At least they saw some, some wildlife. The drive through uh, the Rockies was absolutely amazing and beautiful. Um, the snow is just so fresh and sort of just so beautiful. Um, 
frozen for the most part. They don't 100% freeze up, but for the most part they do. Especially when it's below minus 20. The falls were amazing yet again. Um, it was wonderful for my daughters to be able to see them as well. Um, and obviously I've never seen a waterfall that is partially frozen or mainly frozen. So, um, until we went to Canada, it doesn't get that cold here that we have that sort of thing happen in New Zealand. Well, not, not unless it's way down the South Island, but um, it's not something that's common. Yeah. Um, major difference was we didn't see any squirrels this time. Freezing their nuts off. Get it? It's funny. Oh, ha, ha, ha. But the knock cracked a joke. Oh, everybody, if he's still awake. I did actually see one squirrel. It was actually on Christmas Day. Um, as it raced through an apple tree. Um, that was covered in snow. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, that was at Victoria, but it was the only squirrel I saw for the whole trip. Yeah, I got up to Jasper and went to a frozen lake where I forced Joy to go skate on the lake. to me later on that she really, really, really uh, loved it and would like to do it again every single time that she comes over to Canada. And I really, really hated it and I will never, ever, ever do it again. Um, she says that she wants to play professional hockey now because she loves it so much, so that's good. a little bit, shot the buck around on the frozen lake, and they all did really good on the skates as well. And Whispering Canadian said, look, you only have to go out for 30 seconds on the skates, and then I will take you back. And I had this chair, I felt like a little kid, because the little kids learning to skate use these chairs.
was quite warm. I believe it was like one or two degrees out. It was really nice break from the chilly air weather. Um, so we went up to the, uh, our town and then I showed a little bit um, of my workplace. Yesterday that 